I'm keeping it quiet. Uh. I pull up, you know I be moving. Whipping the four and I'm cruising. The money I'm speaking to flu. This is the second date update on the 10 with Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa. The Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. Hi, Beth. How can we help you, madam? So, I would love for your help because I went on a few dates with this amazing guy. His name is Darren. He was awesome. All of the dates were great. We went on, like, a handful. And I thought everything was going well. All of a sudden, he's just gone. Like, MIA, completely non-responsive. And I'm just like, um, excuse me? (laughs) What happened? Yeah. So, what did you do? So, I've been texting him and, you know, like, not like crazy texting him because obviously I don't need that kind of drama in my life if he's not going to respond. I just want to know why he's not responding. Did I do something? Did he, did something happen to him? Like, okay, well, if you weren't you and you were watching it from an outside point of view, what would you say would turn him off about you? I honestly don't know. Like, our last date went great. Like, we went to see a movie, and we came home. Like, he took me home, and everything seemed, like, on a good standing ground. But mm-hmm. I don't know. The next day, he refused to text me back, and now it's been, you know, I don't know, a week or so. All right, cool. Hey, well, listen, we shall call Darren up and yeah. uh, see what he has to say. Maybe we can get you another date. Now back to the second date update on the 10. With Ramiro, Pebbles, and Melissa, the Get Up Crew. Hot 96.9. We just spoke to a lovely lady by the name of Beth, and, and she was racking her brain because she went out with this guy Darren a couple of times. She said every date was great, including the last one. Nothing weird out of the ordinary happened the last time they went out. But for some reason, when she texted him about going out again, Darren gave her the crickets. The crickets suck. Crickets. The crickets. Is that the that bougie was. version of crickets? Yes, it sounds it sounds nicer to hear <laughs> crickets. More fancy. Yeah, exactly. So uh, Beth is very confused. We're going to try and call Darren. We have his phone number. We're going to try and call him now and hook it up with a free date for both of you guys, all right? Wait, before we call him, Beth, are you sure there's nothing you want to tell us? No, no, there's nothing I can think of at all. Okay, because Darren will tell us. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. All right, uh, stay quiet. Hello. Hello, is this Darren? Uh, yeah, who is this? Darren, oh. um, we're calling you from Hot 96.9, the radio station. It's Romero, Pebbles, and Melissa, and I can explain why we're calling. We got your phone number from a young lady who would love to take you out on a date. Really? This sounds a little... Uh, well, l- let me explain. Uh, so she she knows you. You know her. I'm going to tell you her name, but first let me tell you what we can offer you here. We're going to offer you a date that you pick. So you tell us the place. You tell us the day, the time. You don't have to worry about what you eat or drink. Go hard because we're going to pay for the whole thing. Um, and it, you, basically you go and see if you and this girl hit it off. So at, at absolute worst... You have a really, really good meal, some good wine, and don't pay a damn thing for a not-so-good date. And I'm going to tell you her name so it's not like a setup or anything. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sounds okay. good? What's her name? <laughs> her name is Beth. You, you already went out with her a couple of times, she said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah I remember that. Yeah, so what, right. are your, what are your thoughts on Beth? Do you, would you like to go out with her again? Yeah. No, <laughs> and, that, and okay, and that is because why? Because she seems uh, she seems confused as to why you haven't been replying to any of her texts or phone calls. You, she said that you know you guys have been having a good time together, and that it seemed as if your your relationship was moving in the right direction. I guess. Uh, no. <laughs> I, <laughs> but look, she's fine. She's fine. Yeah. She's pretty. Blah blah blah. She's blah. But uh, she uh, had me drop her off. Uh, she wants me to bring her to her mother's house. Drop her off after the date. And I'm pulling up to the house, and I'm like, "Holy <laughs> shit! The <laughs> biggest c- in the world lives at this house. What is this? C- this girl's mom? And what? <laughs> Wait." 
You yeah. know, you know her mom. Well, I don't know her, know her, but uh, I know her just from the neighborhood and bringing my kids around for Halloween. Yeah. Um, and she's just the biggest bitch every time. She doesn't Stop even come to the door. It. She's one of those people who put the sign on their door sometimes that says, uh, no candy here, go away. Um, oh, she's just terrible. asking to be egged. <laughs> it's funny that you say that about the eggs because for the last four years, my kids and I have been egging and toilet paper in the f*** out of that house. Oh, my Damn. God. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm yep. not supposed to say anything, but what the, like, actual f***? You're the one who's been egging my mom's house for that yeah. time? Hold on, hold on, Darren. Beth yes. is on the phone and she heard what you just said. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah, wait. Your mom's Your mom is a terrible person. <laughs> I should have known when you were talking about cats so much on the date. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. But- you need to explain this. You've been egging some poor woman's house every year because, what, she doesn't give out candy? She chooses not to give out candy for Halloween? Literally, I have to help her clean that up every year. And I vow that I will call the cops next year and have them post it outside my mom's house. If she wants to be safe this year, tell her to get some candy, give it out to the kids like a normal person, instead of <laughs> locking herself in her house and uh, looking out her window in a creepy way. You're gonna, it's going to happen. You're going to be cleaning up egg again. <laughs> so just get ready. Wow, you really are a grown man throwing egg on yes. someone's house. Mm-mm-mm. With my children. With my children, nonetheless. I'm proud of it. That is ridiculous. Yeah, great, yeah. great Oh, you're my gonna be. God. Okay, be, uh, so would you like to go out with Beth again? <laughs> yeah, right. Darren? I would totally go out with her again. Free meal. You know you just, oh, come go on. Take your eggs thing. and shove them where they, you know, the sun don't what? shine. That's your insult? <laughs> Tomorrow on the second date update on the 10. We're going to meet one of my personal favorite people. His name is Vlad. I guarantee you're going to love him, too. I don't know. I'm not in country for very long. I I not have citizenship. I mention she thinks I use her for green uh, card, but that's not the case. Why is Vlad not getting a call back from this girl, Nina? We're going to find out tomorrow morning at 810 with the get-up through. <laughs> 